differences between editable poly and editable mesh, uh, both are types of, well, they're object types that you can use for the project, and you can switch back and forth between them if you want, but understanding the differences of them can be a little bit tricky. So this is going to be the, the beginner overview of the two different type of, of um, mesh types. I've brought up here the um, help file in Max, and if you're not used to using these, it's under help and just user reference, and that will bring this up, and you can go to index and type in whatever it is that you're looking for in Max, and it'll give you like a little um, explanation. Sometimes it'll give you a tutorial, and you can see I've typed in editable poly, and it's brought up the uh, definition of editable poly. I've also, in the file that um, I've given you, 1013, I've made a box here, uh, given it some sections, and called it an editable poly. And I've done that by either right-clicking up here and saying editable poly, or you can right-click on the object and go to convert to editable poly. Now, this is an editable poly type, not a modifier. We'll get into the modifiers later. Here's the definition of an editable poly. Editable poly is an editable object with five sub-object levels, vertex, edge, border, polygon, and element. Its usage is similar to that of an editable mesh, which is the other type we're going to talk about, with controls for manipulating an object as a polygon mesh at various sub-object levels. So what that means is, this is a type of object. Here's your five sub-object levels, vertex, edge, border, polygon, an element, and those are going to be similar to the ones in editable mesh, but a little bit different, and that's the big part. And rather than triangular faces, however, the poly's object faces are polygons with any number of vertices. So editable poly has, uh, if we go to the polygon level, you can see my, my nice little box here has four-sided uh, polygons. So four-sided, and they can actually be any uh, number of sides. Although for games, we like four-sided, we like three-sided. That's pretty much it. Sometimes five-sided, but basically we like three-sided and four-sided. So editable poly is a good choice for making objects for games, except that it will allow us to make faces that are more than four-sided, and we may not want that. Um, a border... By the way, if I delete this, a border is that open area right there. And you can see that I could go down here under extrude, and I can extrude these borders out if I wanted to. So borders are a little bit different than what you're going to see in editable uh, mesh. Undo that and put my polygon back. Um, edge are these little connecting pieces. You can move these around all you want. You can grab them. You can move them can do whatever you want with them. And vertexes, of course, are these little uh, dots or these little connector pieces. And for the most part, they're the probably the most important part of our little mesh in that they hold everything together. You can see I can move them around as well and uh, manipulate my mesh. So um, an element is the entire piece. And we use element, if I was to stack different boxes on each other, attach them, my elements would be, each box would be an element. And sometimes those elements are usable when we get into the, um, the organic meshes that we're going to do later. So, again, we've got element, polygon, four-sided in this case, border, edge, and vertex. Now, if we go over under editable mesh click here, and I'm going to use editable mesh in this case. I'm going to convert my box to an editable mesh. Again, I can do that by right-clicking and going to editable mesh, or I can click on the mesh itself, right-click on the mesh itself, and convert to editable mesh. You'll see now it's an editable mesh. Now, the box itself didn't change at all, but you'll see our sub-object levels have changed. Now we get vertex, edge, face, polygon, and element. So where we had border before, we now have face. So here's the definition of an editable mesh. Editable mesh is a type of def deformable object 
An editable mesh is a tri-mesh, that is, it uses triangular polygons. And so what does that mean? Well, this guy's a little triangular polygon. You'll see if I click on this, see it's using those triangular pieces to make up that four-sided quad piece that was in editable poly. Now, sometimes that's useful. For the most part, this is what objects would look like in games, and they're converted to tries when they go into a game engine. So a lot of times we want to get into editable mesh so that we can manipulate these. Where in editable poly, it's a little bit trickier to get down to this try level. So think of these four-sided polygons as made up of two tries each. And you can visually see those tries, so you can't really see them right now, by right-clicking on your object, go to Properties, and turn off Edges Only, and now you can see those tries. And if you need to flip, I can go down here, if you need to um, flip the direction of those tries, figure out where I'm at here, it's under Turn, and I can just click on those little interior edges, and I can turn them. That becomes really important when we start doing the character meshes. It might be important in your tank, so if you see anything that looks like it's kind of bending the wrong direction when it comes to these four-sided quads, you might get down to a tri-level and flip the interior edge so that it works better. Probably won't be important for a few weeks for most of you. So both of these types of meshes come with a whole lot of different parameters under Edit Geometry down here. So if I go back to Edit Poly, I'm going to turn off my um, edges so that we're back to that. You'll see that this area down here will look different under Edit Poly and Edit Mesh. For the most part, we're going to be using Edit Poly in this class. And so a lot of the tutorials that are coming up after this will deal with Edit Poly. And you'll see me convert things to Edit Poly. You can translate that information to um, what's mostly here under Edit Mesh, down in here, if you want to. And whichever one you want to use is fine. Um, but just be aware most of the tutorials deal with Edit Poly. Okay? So play around with kind of converting it back and forth. Move some parts around, kind of get a feel for what's going on there. But that's the difference between Edit Poly and Edit Mesh, the quick version. And we'll be talking a little bit more about it in future videos.